good news after drying the receiver and uh, waiting for a day or so I tried to turn it on I removed the switch because I thought there was a problem with that because with the switch it didn't work and after removing the switch I have here two contacts that I need to connect to launch the receiver so I'll do a short card okay so I connected these two contacts and it started working and then if we take a remote control we'll see that it can be synchronized now it's synchronized so the receiver works now we will have to turn it off in the same manner and then think of a new switch so I'll have to connect again these two contacts to deactivate the receiver it's not a regular switch where you just turn it on and then turn it off it has some kind of a logic in there so I turn it off like this and it's turned off so we're good to go we will clean the car grease all the gears put everything back in and uh, continue testing the car and experimenting with that so I have washed the parts of the car I applied in some places a contact cleaner and in other places a rust remover and uh, where the grease is necessary like in gears I applied the rust remover I just cleaned these parts with the rust remover because this one also contains oil and as I will be applying grease here the oily surface will not be a problem and actually will help these parts to work longer so for the electrical motor I applied a contact cleaner which removes all rust and doesn't have oil because oil attracts debris and dust I preferred it to clean it with a contact cleaner my surprise was that actually after cleaning with contact cleaner the axis was not moving freely and I got suspicious about that so I decided to check if the electrical motor was working fine and it turned out that it wasn't it started making a lot of noise as if it was having a lot of resistance inside a lot of sand and rust came out of these holes and uh, I'm sure that when I cleaned it with the contact cleaner a lot of dust and uh, even sand traveled inside of this electrical motor and maybe got stuck in some places so you will see how I dealt with this I had to put some rust remover because it has oil hoping that it will help the access to move freely and it worked actually so in my case I still think that it's okay to clean the electrical motor with contact cleaner but then also add some oily stuff in there so that the parts can move without any problem these types of uh, rust removers they also have oil and they are dielectric they will not cause any shortcuts so you can easily use that next thing will be to apply grease and uh, put everything together and check if the car works fine so now we have applied some grease on the gears I use the grease something like this which is resistant to water and protects mechanical parts from rust and now we're going to put everything back and see if everything works correctly now we put the cover back uh, we mounted the electrical motor and we will be checking now if it works fine if there's any 
uh, sounds due to friction or any particles of sand or dirt left in. We'll see how it works now. Well, I can hear mild sound, which means that all gears are working fine. And I think we're good to go.